You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is not stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning, we'll take you to the swoop track.
People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike is using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Jawara Mota Ayura Tahonga Chakanki Dora Kachikui Tahodonga Topadabu Waliakando Dona Chuchu Musha Patopa. You fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself. Nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race. Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan.
Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. But we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... that's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision. If there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace.
Sure. can I do? How can I help? I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success, though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you are gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Yes? I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. 
Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulkers manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Well, were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. M my lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcus came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcus probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Carth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua yong bo joni. Mina mamba to tanga buk sha um nak nong kin kun shi. Mokao dang ya foki. Cha chiska do punta ka kaspaka. Ban. Kipuna, bona na kichu. 
kimpa mule radwana, tong kimpa no kudnok nek, kap... Kenchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun, watu yama kama wun... Hako chinkopa? Tonga book shot. Hachu a punky. Mok how dang ya foki. Chachiska. Can chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak neck. Bugra shak. Tinku ukapa. Topa no aska. Chi nisko ne akava a. Hachu a punky. Tonga b-
What can I do? What? Yes? Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu yi kipuna na boncha kavadumpa kupkakin cha na kwat na bon kon mana mana tota hakuchi krala bolaji chok shontan bona nakachu kicha badwang Wanga kum kiba boom. What? Yeah. 
I heard I bet. with me.
Sure. Oh, my God. 
ellas? Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the Dark Side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. I heard I bet.
What can I do? What? What can I do? Yes? Ready? Yes? I'm here. Lastly, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians. But the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us unopposed? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right, and every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand.
Ready? Sure. I'm here. Ready? Sure. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Summon me, Lord Malik. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davik. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. 
Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. What can I do? Sure. What can I do? How can I help? The surface of Terrace is covered with an urban beyond the... Then I suggest... What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donka Hey, baby, wait! I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Uh uh. No way, you're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards if you live long enough for them to question you.
Sure. Sure. Yeah. 
what I can do. Huh? dare you feed my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. That is no excuse for incompetence! I gave very specific orders that were not followed! Don't work for Davik. Then what do you... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going.
What can I do? Sure. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner or oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn that shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy.
Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets! You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Between. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council.
E kukulo no ba mulera. Ka chi kun ida ho. Don je do ba do wana ni di bobo. Don mucho shak pa khat. Ka chi kun ida ho. Achuta. Je do ba do wana ni di bobo. Mucho shak pa khat. Thank you. 